Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, this is Foog again, back with more Let's Play King's Quest V. When we last left our hero, Graham, uh, he was falling to his death, no thanks to Cedric, who simply warned us as we fell. Do be careful, Graham! Well, he didn't say that. He was telling us, look at him, not by the edge, or whatever, when we fell down, and what an idiot. So now we, we want to click the hand on these. I'm not, it's, it's strange that you have to click the hand. That's basically showing, don't walk to it, use it. I guess would be jump, and that's what we do. And now we can just we can walk on the log, but we don't have to use the handle log. We just walk at it. And uh, Cedric, now aren't you glad to see us? Now we he's not in the mood. Yeah, right. Okay, you know Cedric, it punch punch him in the face. In the in the face. X marks the spot of your face. Okay, we can't really do that. So we're we're just gonna continue onward now. Okay. All right. Here we go. And so, help Graham, help me! Cedric! Goodbye, I hate you, good riddance! Yes! Yes! Wolf, eat him! Devour him! Destroy him! Yes! Oh, oh, oh that's so much better. Oh, that's so much better. Freedom! Freedom at last. Oh, good gravy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, it's a little, whoops. It's a little interesting here. Uh, save, move to save, yeah, save, same save. Uh, as you can see, there's a little slope here, and if we decide to venture forward without knowing what we're doing, this is what happens. We get a little bit of a whoa, wee! And I don't think we can actually go back. Oh, never mind, we can. Um, okay. Ha <laughs> ha Um, we can go forward, but th th there's a little issue with doing that, as as you're about to see, find out for yourself. Uh, and, and you gotta be careful here, because you can easily fall off the edge if you click in the wrong spot. Um, but it's it's one of those things. And, and if, if you're wondering why I sound different or whatever, well, partly it's because I'm using different recording stuff now. Um, I'm actually using a proper microphone instead of the little thing on my webcam, which was picking up. Uh, it just wasn't as good. Um, and also, I'm in a pretty good mood because today I got let out of work early because I didn't have the materials. Now, I could be miserable and be like, well, ah, I'm going to get docked the money. Or I could be like, well, I'm going to do my things. So, I'm going to do what I want. Now, as you can see here, there's a little pathway that leads from that side to this one, if you think that actually looks like a pathway, but here's the trick. You try to walk across. Ah! Yes, it was. It was a doozy. So we go back, and, and we'll, we'll do this right this time. Now, most of you probably already figured this out as I was yapping away, you know, rambling. Um, what we want to do is use our handy dandy sled. There's really nothing else that would come in handy here, obviously. So, let's do it. We're gonna click it on the slope and that will get him going. Oh, isn't that jingle? Oh, it's just, it's, it's awesome. Whee! Drat, my sled's broken. Yes, it's broken. How about that? It's broken. Now I had heard there's like a little Easter egg here. If you, if you use, I think your cloak on the. Yep. Look at that. Look. Look. At, whoa. For Lisa from zero. Uh, that that's quite an Easter egg. Uh, run run away from the thing. Wow. Um, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I've never done that before. I've tried it before and failed. I've, okay, you know what? Um, uh, why, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm, th this, this commentary stinks. I, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. I've never done that before, because, like I said, I've, I've tried it, but I guess I wasn't doing it right. Um, but... That was kind of hilarious. Um, and you'll see that, that weird creature thing that's popping out of the snow and chasing me around the screen. You'll you'll, you'll see that later. But uh, let's move on. Jeez. I'm like fumbling over my brains right now. Oh, look at this. What is this? A shivering eagle perches weakly upon a small rock. Despite his own problems, Graham's heart goes out to the poor thing. Really, does it? Well, then that must mean we need to do something about this. Let's talk to him. What's wrong, Mr. Uh, Eagle? 
I'm so weak from hunger, I haven't been able to catch any food for days. I can barely fly anymore. No, oh. I'd love to help you. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, I need food. <coughs> okay, now we have food. We have, well, honeycomb squish doesn't really count as food, I guess. But we have partial leg of lamb, a pie, eh, that's about it. And if we give them a pie, I mean, you know, I don't think custard pie is appropriate for eagles. Um, so we're going to give him the, actually, you know what, I'm going to save here because there's an interesting way things can go awry for you if, uh, if you don't do things right here. Um, and I, you know, I just want to check, what happens if I do try to give him, I don't remember, whoops, if I do try to give him the custard pie, what happens? Would you like a pie? Would you like a pie? Would you like a piece of pie? And he actually does eat the pie. Well, dag on. You are a kind man to share your meager food with a poor bird, especially up here in the snowy mountains. Well, I couldn't just stand there and let you starve to death. What kind of person would I be? You have shown yourself to be a kind, compassionate man, and I will not forget what you did for me. Goodbye, dear friend. An eagle just ate my custard pie. That's, that's dairy, dude. That's dairy. Okay, but, you know, uh, uh, man, this, this episode sucks. <laughs> uh, basically, you're not supposed to do that. And I'll show you why, maybe later on, or maybe I'll edit an episode or something like that to show you. But we're going to give him second leg of lamb. Yes, we've read this all before. And now he's eating the leg of lamb instead. You can see it's definitely different. But they say the same stuff, so blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there goes Mr. Eagle. That's That was uh, heartwarming. How about that? Now to go follow Cedric. Let's hope, hopefully we won't have to save him. Yes, I know, we still have to save him, but anyway. Uh, and they go, and I'm like, hooray! It looks like he's got his arms up like, hey, what's up? Yeah! Or maybe, maybe they're like in the air like, I surrender. I don't really know, but he looks excited. I'm Queen Isabella, and you have entered my domain now. I command you to kneel before me. Uh, sure. So it's both you and your friend over there. Dot, dot, dot. I like her mouth is like one big white hand pixel. Have so thoughtlessly invaded my territory without my permission or knowledge, I have decided you shall both be put to death. Take him away, my pets. Uh-oh. We're gonna get put to death. I mean, you can do that to Cedric. I mean, I don't mind that. Oh! I forgot how quick these guys go. Alright, so we, we need to do something. We can't walk. We can't go anywhere. Talking, I don't think, is really gonna help. We need to do something. What is that? Well, play the tambourine for them. But, well, you know, I'm just gonna do it. No, no more messing around. We're, we're, or maybe later. We're just gonna do this, because... This, this death isn't even very interesting. They just sort of like walk up and they're like, oh, who knows? So, la la la. And uh, we get to listen to this cute little music with the, the multicolored notes flying out of the harp. It's like, ah. Oh. You know, my memory, maybe it's not serving me right, but I used to remember that sounding a lot sweeter than this. I don't know why. That was very lovely music. I've never heard anything quite that beautiful before. I think I felt my heart melting just a little bit. Blah. Just enough, that is, to allow you a chance for your freedom. A vicious yeti has entered the area and taken up residence in my prized crystal cave. So far, I have been unable to extricate him from either the cave or my territory. If you can rid me of the yeti, I'll release both you and your owl friend. Oh, and you two can continue on your journey unhindered. Or being hindered right now. And I don't want him back. You can keep him. You're hungry, right? You know. I wish you luck in defeating the Yeti. If you succeed, you'll have my undying gratitude. I don't want him back. I mean, what 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 use has he been so far? Go with him, Sir Grey Wolf, naturally. Show him the way to the Crystal Cave. Oh, and uh, I got to tell you, Sir Grey Wolf has one of the most awesome voice. You may go now, Sir Grey Wolf. We'll lead the way. Uh, but he's got one of the best bad voices in, in the voiceover version. It's it's impressively awful. 
I'll definitely put that later on, but it's, oh man, it's like, a person's really trying to sound like, he's got like a husky voice or whatever, no pun intended, but you know, like trying to sound all growly, but instead it just comes across like he's, maybe I'll do an impression or something, it's so miserable, like I, I could, I could goof it up, I could goof it up and it'd probably still sound better than what they did in the voice acted version, it's so bad. It's just, it's, it's amazingly bad. But, uh, so now we, we watch them move slowly through the mountains. Man, that, that took forever. Jeez, man, you guys walk like molasses in January. Yonder's a crystal cave. There you will find the Yeti. Okay, that's, that's what it sounds like in, in the, the voice acted version. It's like, oh, the guy is just miserable. I think it's just on different. Sir Wolf, I don't know how you expect me to conquer a Yeti. Why, he's got to be at least twice as big as me and much, much more powerful. What do you expect me to do? That is your problem, not mine. It has been decreed by Queen Isabella, and I must carry out her wishes. Now, no more talking. Go to the Crystal Cave. That's what I think he should sound like. You know, something where you're not using your voice. You know, just like, you know, uh, whatever. But instead, the voice actor version is like, Go to the crystal cave! It's terrible! Alright, it looks like I got just enough time. I'm gonna save this here, because th this part's awesome. Uh, but, uh, okay, so we gotta go fight a Yeti. And, um, well, here we go. I'm not sure whether it's more awesome to win or to lose. But, well, um, let's, let's take him on. We're, we're gonna punch him in the face. Or he's gonna eat my face while I wiggle my legs. What an abominable situation. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, the puns in this game just never cease to amaze. Never cease to amaze. So we go back, we restore. I must have been too slow in trying to punch him in the face. Alright, but, but there is, there is a way we can defeat him. There's something we can do about this Yeti. I don't know if you've guessed it already, or maybe you already know. There he is. But, uh, we have a lot of items. A hammer might be useful against him, but trust me, it's not. Key, pointless, harp, we just used that, so of course they're not gonna make us use that again. Um, no, no, the tambourine. That may have scared off a snake, but this is a Yeti, I don't think so. Useless, we're wearing it already, and we're wearing it already. So, it leaves us only with what the Baker Brothers baked for us. And, uh, actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna have to stop here, because this is too awesome. We're saving this for next time. <laughs>